There you are, Rushdie. Ah, excellent dinner, Gono, excellent. More ice cream is available, gentlemen, if you wish to continue stuffing yourselves. Just a shade ice cream. Just black coffee for me, Gono, and of course my cigar. You know Dr. McNamara's orders, Counselors, on account of your heart. Every week we have dinner with Counselor Gibson. Every week he tries to sing coffee and cigar routine. You'd think you know he couldn't get away with it by now. Who's trying to get away with anything? I just thought that the rules might be relaxed tonight for a change. Dr. McNamara says that your heart is the jitters, Counselor, so the rules stick tonight and every night. But tonight is very special. Gentlemen, I'm going to make a new will. Why? You feeling worse, Counselor? Nothing wrong with me that a good cigar couldn't cure. What's the matter with the old will? It leaves everything to my nephew, Fred Gibson. Who's he? You never mentioned him before. He's my dead brother's boy, my only living relative. Don't you like him? The fact is, he doesn't like me. He must be a dope. A counselor? Once I thought we could mean a great deal to each other. When he was just your age, I thought that... Well, that doesn't matter now. When my brother died, I wanted the boy to come here. But his mother and I never hit it off very well. Partly my fault, perhaps. But he never showed any interest in my life here. And, gentlemen, I have no other life. So you're gonna cut him off with a butt? No, I couldn't do that to my brother's boy. There'll be a sufficient number of bucks for him in a trust fund. But for this house, which you boys have helped make home for me, and for the pottery works that I established for Lawtonville, I have other plans. Uh, go no. Properly approached, I might consider settling for a half a cup of coffee. You have good argument, Counselor. Dr. McNamara gave instructions as follows. Not a single cup of coffee. Uh, Never did he say one word about one half cup of coffee. You win. Thank you, Gono. <laughs> you make a fine lawyer. Hey, if you should happen to come across a half cigar while you're out there, yeah, well, we mustn't force our lot too far. Look, Counselor, as long as you are going to make a new will, how about leaving me that old gym equipment in the garage? You know, the punching bag? Young man, if you'll control your impatience, you'll find that a punching bag is very small potatoes. Very small potatoes, indeed. We've been friends for a long time, we six boys, haven't we? Yes, you sir. You bet. Sure have. Three years. And a month. <laughs> Yes, yes, rusty old boy. We seven, I should say. <laughs> and we've been good for one another. There's a slight disparity in our ages, to be sure. And we've had our differences of opinion. But it's the differences in men that make this world an exciting place to live in, just so long as those differences are used constructively. For that matter, I've never known five boys more different from one another than you are. Now, multiply you a few score times and you're Lawtonville. Multiply that a few hundreds of thousands of times and you're America. Change your speech a little, your manners, your customs. Multiply some more and you become the world. That's right. Danny, will you be good enough to convey a message to your father, the able custodian of my legal affairs? Yes, sir. Tell him I'd appreciate his services here tomorrow morning. There are certain formalities concerning the new will. Yes, sir. Ah. <laughs> With this gentle stimulant, let us repair to the living room. Gentlemen, your very good health. <laughs> Have to make this last a long time. And he said we were the whole world in miniature, just like, like a handful of soil is the earth. It just doesn't seem possible. Leaving that land and the house and the pottery works to you five boys. I, I just can't believe it. Well, it's true, all right. That's what he said. And he says that he wants us all to think about how we're going to use it. And he knows that we'll all think of something different. But we have to find a way to settle our different ideas without hurting anybody. And when we can do that, 
It'll make the angels sing. That's just the way he said it. It'll make the angels sing. I should think it would. Makes me sing just hearing about it. Well, it's getting pretty late, son. Even for a young man with uh, great expectations. Okay, Pop. But I know I won't sleep. Good night, Mom. Good night, dear. Good night, Dad. Good night, son. Uh, <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Can't trust me, huh? May I ask one small and significant promise? Yes, you may ask. Never to inform against me to Dr. McNamara that Gono is traitor to doctor's orders and surrender coffee and cigar. Coffee twice. Yeah, but only in half cup portions. <laughs> That's the best half cup of coffee you ever made, Gono. I bet I'll sleep better tonight than I have in months. Bet accepted. And if you sleep well, we indulge again. Ah. Uh, Next Christmas. Yeah. Now I turn off the light? No, 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 no. I'm going to read till I finish this cigar. Mr. Marcus Aurelius approved to indulge appetite against doctor's orders? You leave him out of this. He says nature has fixed bounds both to eating and drinking. Very he, sensible. He also say do not act as if thou were going to live for 10,000 years. And that's very sensible, too. Uh, put up the shade. There ought to be a moon tonight. Full moon. And stars? Many stars. Good. Full moon, many stars, two half cups of coffee and a whole cigar. <laughs> That's a sizable part of heaven. Thank you, Gono, and good night. Good night, Counselor. Sleep well. This place, we'll have enough room for baseball, basketball, football, and a midget racetrack. You don't seem to understand what the council has in mind at all. He has a special idea. It's about people. You get it, of course. Sure. Well, I, I think I do. He said that we five fellows were like the whole world if we were multiplied enough. So the way I see it, everything that the council wants to give us is to help us start a new world. Boy, am I confused. Well, I'm not. 